Jim, that was a dominating performance. Your team played as well and as sharp as I've seen them all year. We haven't played that good in all, the whole year. We played good all year, but not that good. You know, the difference is Brandon's relaxed. And, you know, he waited the NCAA tournament to relax. And when he makes shots, uh, we're pretty good. Well, one of the things I'm sure that you guys had a concern about was um, Rick Jackson getting in foul trouble. He did, but your guys more than filled the middle. I'll tell you, John Shante did an unbelievable job. He did a great job in the middle against a good post player. I was very proud of him, and all of our other guys just kind of picked up and helped. And when Andy gets those kind of looks, uh, he gets in that that whatever it is, it is. He he's not going to miss too many. Wesley kept us in there the first half. Wesley played great, but uh, Brandon really at the end of the first half, he made the difference in the game. Well, in Butler, your next opponent, you're going to see a team that's like this Gonzaga team, diverse on offense, probably a little more experience. Well, they're, I've, I've had them in my top ten all year. I think they're a great basketball team. We're going to have to play as well as we did today against Butler. All right, congratulations. Enjoy this one. Thank you. Wes, well, everybody, including me, were saying in this game, you're probably one of the more dominant players in, in the tournament thus far with this particular outing. You know, what did you feel coming in today? What did you feel like you had to do? Really just come out and just be aggressive on the defensive end first, and then I was, my shots were falling, and then I just stayed aggressive on both ends, and that really helped, it, helped me out throughout the game. Well, congratulations on a terrific game, and uh, we'll hopefully have a chance to see you do this against Butler going forward. Hope so, but thank you.